Hello, good day everyone. Welcome to Mathematics 6, quarter 3, week number 2. Today we will discuss in finding the n term of the sequence. Okay, let's go. So first, our learning competency for this day, at the end of the lesson, you should be able to formulate the rule in finding the n term using different strategies like looking backward or look for a pattern check and guess and checking or working backward okay now let's have some activity first find the next two term of the sequence okay so number one what do you think is the answer comment down your answer in the comment section below Okay, time is up. Let's see. Okay, so that would be the answer. Okay, pal. Okay, next. Number two. What do you think is the next two term of this sequence? Comment down your answer in the comment section below. Okay. The answer must be, okay, Q and U, okay. Next, number three. What do you think is the next term of the sequence? Three, seven, eleven, fifteen, blank, blank. What do you think is the next two term of the sequence? Okay, the answer must be, 19 and 23 adding 4 to the preceding number okay next number 4 1 4 9 16 what do you think happened to the next preceding number to in order to find the next two term okay the answer must be 25 and 36 Okay. Okay. Next, number five. What do you think is the next two term? Two, four, eight, sixteen. Blank, blank. Okay. Time is up. Now the answer is thirty-two and sixty-four. Now, so let's discuss first the sequence. A sequence is a set of numbers written in special order by application of defi definite rule. Definite rule like adding 2s to the preceding number, adding 3s or multiplying by 2 to the preceding numbers with a definite rule. Okay? Now, let's have some examples in order to uh, know what or how do we find the next two term of this sequence? Now, 3, 7, 11, and 15. So the pattern is, you're going to subtract 7 minus 3, the answer is 4. 11 minus 3, the answer is 4. 15 minus 11, the answer is 4. So they have the common difference of 4. So, 3 is equal to 3. 7 plus 3, the answer must be 11. So this would be the second number. And then 11 plus 3, the answer must be 15. This would be the second number. So the rule is you're going to add 3 to the preceding number. So 15 plus 4. Uh, adding 4 rather, adding 4 to the preceding number 19, 19 plus 4, the answer is 23, okay? So, that would be the rule, okay? So, n plus 4. And then, let's have some example number 2. So, we have 1, 4, 9, 16. What do you think is the rule in order to find the next two term? So, basically, let's subtract the first 
uh, the second number to the first number or a sub 2 minus a sub 1 because this is a sub 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 minus 1, the answer is 3. 9 minus, 9 minus 4, the answer is 5. And then 16 minus 9, the answer is 7. So as you can see, this should be an odd numbers. So what do you think is the next odd number to 7? So the answer is 16, right? So this would be 1. Okay, so the other pattern is 1 times 1. The answer is 1. Or 2 times 2, second term is 2 times 2. Is equal to 4. 3 times 3, the answer is 9. 4 times 4, the answer is 16. But this should be 25 because this should be a fifth pattern. 25. And then we have 6 times 6, the answer is 36. Okay? So that would be the pattern. So multiplying the term to itself. Okay? So the rule is multiply the number of term by itself. Okay? So Let's find the n term of the sequence. First, we have find the 10 term of the sequence. So basically, in this situation, you need to have the formula in finding the uh, the number of the 10 term of the sequence because you, it can be uh, time consuming if I will add I will add to every preceding number until I get to 10 term now so this would be the formula will help in order to find easily the uh, 10 term first let's define the formula so we have the a sub n it is the 10 term or n term so 10 term in this situation a sub 1 is the first term a sub 2 is the second, third, fourth, fifth. Then the n is the number of term. A number of term is 10. And then d is the common difference. We're going to find the common difference. So in order to find the common difference, let's see. Mamaya. Then a sub 2, a sub, a sub n is equal to a sub 10. This should be the unknown, the 10th term. Then n is equal to 10. Okay? And then the common difference is d is equal to a sub 2, 3, minus a sub 1. So 3 minus 1, the answer is 2. So therefore, the common difference is 2. So substituting to the formula. So we have a sub 10 is equal to 1 because 1 is the a sub 1 plus the quantity of n. n is equivalent to 10. 10 minus 1 and then multiply it by the common difference 2 because 3 minus 1 the answer is 2 then simplify it so 1 10 minus 1 the answer is 9 then multiply it by 2 the answer is 18 plus 1 the answer is 19 therefore the 19 the 10th term of the sequence 13579 is equivalent to 10 simple as that so, remember all the parts of the formula. a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 multiplied by the common difference. Okay? So, let's sub some uh, examples. So, you need to find the uh, rule of the each of the following sequence. Okay? So, you may comment down your answer in the comment section below. Read six pupils. First, or number 1. What do you think is the rule? Is it n minus 1, n plus 2, n plus 3? As simple as that. Or 5, 8, 11, 14, 17. What do you think is the rule? Adding by 3, adding by 4, or adding by 5? 2, 5, 8, 14. What do you think is the rule? Then, for number letter B, find the 29th term of the following. So, you need to find the way a 29th term of the following sequence. Now, 
basically, I already give the formula. Again, the formula is A sub N is equal to A sub 1 plus the quantity of N minus 1 multiplied by the common difference. So, that's all for today. Thank you and God bless everyone. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.